Welcome to the Blockchain Report, where we discuss all things blockchain technology, digital assets, DeFi, NFTs, and much more. Today's video, we are diving into the Rivals Incentivized Testnet. This is live today. Well, I will be posting this on uh, the day after today, so the 25th. So this is an AI uh, testnet. So we're going to download and run a light our client to support the DPIN or decentralized physical infrastructure and earn points, complete social challenges for higher rewards, and will mint data fragments every day to obtain a significant discount for the whitelist of their validator node sale. And also the longer you're running your client, the higher the rewards. And we'll go into what all this is and how to set it all up. But before we actually get started, thank you so much for joining. Please like, subscribe, comment, share this out to anyone you think would be interested in blockchain technology, all the fun stuff we get to learn, and cool rewards we earn along the way, like incentivized test nets because they don't really cost a lot to participate in. Uh, well, if nothing, just your time. Just your time. You don't really have to spend any money on this um, unless it's the power that you're using in your home or apartment. So outside of that, you know, just a bit of your time and effort and you will learn how to uh, set all this up. But if you ever need any help uh, more one on one, please jump in the discord link is in the description below. Get in there, connect with me and other people in the community and we will help you along your crypto journey. And it's popping in there. The testnet chat is really, really dope. I mean, the whole the discord is really growing. So thank you, everyone especially Rob been uh rocking it rocking the discord man so it's good to have people you can trust and uh the I mean you don't even have to ask them to do anything you know if if they feel passionate enough to help and you know I'm I, I love that I love that so thank you to everyone in there supporting with the alpha you know all that stuff so let's keep growing let's keep growing um all right the test net we will go into the rivals.ai dashboard so we'll download and run their light client and we'll actually see what that entails if it if it's not suitable for your computer i don't know if it's a uh, going to be I don't know if everyone's going to be able to participate. So we're going to add this custom network. It's the Rivals Testnet. Now, if you can download the client on the dashboard, that would be great. So we will proceed to connect our X. Go and give it to you. X, go and give it to you. So they actually changed. Um, they, they started to change the domain. So all the Twitter is now X. Okay. Maybe it's a little slow today. Oh, let me turn this little volume up a little bit so we can get some tunes going. Uh, I'm just going to go back because this is taking too long. We can connect later. <clears throat> Let's just dive into it. So we're going to download our client for Windows. You can do it for Mac or Linux. We're going to save this. Total points. So how to maximize points based on the amount of storage and computational resources you can provide as well as amount of uptime. I don't know if you can read that. So how many clients can I run per device? Only one. Is the client available for mobile? No, it won't be available on mobile. These are the only three supported operating systems. Does the rival client have access to my personal data or information on my device? No, the client won't have any access personal data or information. What's the minimum requirements? Eight gigabytes of RAM, four core, 2.2 gigahertz, 50 gigabyte SSD, one megabyte per second 
internet speed. Um, what is the rival test net event? And we just went into that. And so the points are going to be eligible for the Riz airdrop. The Riz. You're going to get the Riz token, man. Hit him with the Riz. Shit. Okay, we're going to we're going to hit this uh client download. So let's check it out. So download the client and run it into your address in the client and go back to the mines. So this is where the fragments are. Damn, I was hoping it would open up in a different window. Because I'm already logged in, but... <laughs> That's interesting. Okay, so... That's the setup. Oh, there's the client. There we go. I was wondering, are we going to get it? Okay. So wallet management. Okay. This basic setups. Choose storage capacity. Please enter wallet address. Start the client and validate. Press the client authentication button to take you to authentication page. So what we're gonna do, you can go here and, well, actually go to your Rabby wallet or whatever wallet you use and copy your wallet address, the one that you're connected to. Had to sneeze for a second. Okay. Now, go back to the client. Whoa. We'll, we'll do this. Storage control. Um, free space, 740. Let's do 50. We'll allocate 50 gigs. All right, save my wallet address. Okay, we will click start. So awaiting response. Oh, let's see. Node is running. So we can't validate the node yet. Um, let me claim some test net Riz if I can. No, let me try again. Okay. Well, we'll let that sit for a minute. And if I can move this guy, I think it froze. I can't move it. Okay, we'll come back to that. <laughs> so I might have to connect this 
Um, let's see. Fragment. My client. Validate client. Okay, it looks like it's still taking some time to connect. So once we're able to validate this, um, it'll show up here in the validated nodes. So remember, you're on home, the mines, and then you go down to my clients. If you don't see it, click on validate client. And whenever this option is available for you to click, which is not for me, um, when it's available, go ahead and click it and it should show up here. Now let's go and see if there's anything else that we can do in the meantime to go home. And what's awesome is that this is powered by Celestia um, and the Tia token and is built on Dimension. So if you haven't uh, staked any of those tokens yet, please go do so. Uh, it's great, great way to earn some extra crypto on the side while it's just sitting there. Okay, so we're going to go back. Nothing to see there. And we'll go to Fragments. Back to Fragments. Can we claim our testnet Riz? No, we can't. We need to wait for our client to validate. So until that does, we won't be able to claim our testnet Riz. So try and connect here. I think that's all we can do for now. Um, oh, let me try and mint these fragments before I go. See what these be looking like. Okay. Wait, you will need testnet gas. Okay. Man. All right, let's see if I can connect on the Twitters real quick. Even though I'm already connected. So let's get in here. All right, I need to do the code. I gotta do my authenticator, authenticator. Yes, we will authorize. Oh, yes. Let's get some fragments. Can we get some? All right, we're going to tweet about it and then I guess get more points. There we go. Now we can get some Riz. Yes. Okay, just do that. Connect your, your X account. Up, oh, I guess not. Maybe. Oh, I guess this is my referral code, so. Let's see what we can do. Nope, still nothing. I wonder if it's because it just launched today and everybody's trying to to get in and do this. So maybe give it some time. Um, I'm going to try this throughout the day and see how it goes. But yeah, if you have any issues or need any help navigating this, um, jump in the Discord because I'll be, I'll be looking to get some some tips or if anyone's done anything but uh that'll be it for me today in this video i appreciate you all so much and with that this is the blockchain report have a wonderful day peace homies